What's happening? What's going on Facebook Live? Man, it's Saturday. I know everybody's uh, looking to kick that Saturday off just right. I figured I'd come to y'all and talk to you a little bit about self-respect today. So um, when you come in the room, just let me know where you're viewing from. Drop your favorite emoji. We're going to get right into it. It's not going to take too long. I decided to step outside a little bit today before it got too hot. Um, you know, my normal time is like later in the evening, like 9.30, but I figured I'd jump out today and... Uh, we're gonna talk about a little self-respect, cool a little bit before the sun starts to heat up today. We're gonna wait to see if we can get the number to jump a little bit. Uh, what's going on, Shay? Appreciate you for checking in with me. Um, I ended up not even going out last night. I ended up staying in, so all good. You know, I ended up staying in and kind of putting some things together. What's happening, Dale? What's going on, Patricia? Just talking about self-respect today, man. I figured I'd come outside a little bit today and kind of breathe in some of that, that natural air, you know, Although it's polluted out here in the city, I'm right in the center of downtown, but um, here in Dallas, well, east of downtown. But um, I'm going to see if we can get this number to jump. Let me know where you're watching from when you come in the room. Um, I hope the waterfall in the background is not too loud. Cool, 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 man. I'm going to get right into it, man. I just want to uh, start off as far as self-respect goes, man. It's, it's huge. You must have self-respect. If you don't respect yourself, then you can't expect for other people to respect you either, right? So... You must have self-respect, and the key to doing that is taking 100% responsibility of where you are in life. 100% responsibility for where you are in life. Um, that means all the things that you've gone through, you stop pointing the finger at everyone else and passing the blame on to someone else for where you are right now in life. What's happening, Janita? How you doing? Um, so you got to take 100% responsibility before you can start to respect yourself. And... Also, making sure that you fight for your, your dreams is huge as far as respecting yourself. It's a huge key to respecting yourself is to fight for your dreams. You're always going to have, see, we do, when you're doing it live, man, you're out in nature. You just got to let things happen. You got a plane going over here. <laughs> but it's cool, right? But yeah, you're going to always have to fight. You're going to always have to fight for your dreams. Always have to fight for your dreams. There are going to be people along your journey. How you doing, mama? Mom stepped in the room. What's going on, Dot? There are going to be people along your journey who are going to try to distract you, uh, not not purposely, and they're usually people that are close to you uh, that are going to try that are, are going to come in and distract you uh, away from your purpose, away from your journey, away from your path. But you have to uh, not allow yourself to get stuck there. You don't allow yourself to get stuck there. That's not respectful to yourself. You have to get back on your journey, back on your path, and find that meaningfulness in life. And get back to that fulfillment, that fulfillment that you were looking for. Never take a job because of how much you're going to pay. Nina, how you doing? I mean, yes, you do need this money for the pay, but never put a price on your work. Never put a price on your work. You are priceless. There's no job. See, that's a lot of people getting excited about $20 an hour, $30 an hour. That's, that's fine. That's good money. But don't let that be what rules you. Don't let it be what rules you. Happiness is very important. It plays a very huge role in your life, a very huge role in your success. If you're not happy with what you're doing, then you are moving further away from your purpose. Your purpose moves you closer to your world of happiness. So make sure that these jobs that you do take, that you understand that they are stepping stones for you. Um, what's happening, lady? How you doing? Um, they're stepping stones. So and I'm, uh, people who respect themselves, they do understand that they have to take jobs. They have to take jobs, but they look at those jobs as... Um, Kind of like a lobby to their success it's a waiting period for them to be able to launch and move further into their success so respecting yourself is by using those as a uh, sort of trampoline or to catapult you into your success not something that you're going to stay in for the rest of your life you're looking for something that's going to bring you more happiness so that's you respecting yourself we have to bring a sense of respect to ourselves uh, don't allow yourself to be stuck in a job that doesn't serve you a job that you hate a job that you can't stand, you know what I mean? Don't don't allow yourself to be stuck in a job that's so disrespectful to yourself, it's so disrespectful to your purpose, so disrespectful. It's causing you to deviate away from your uh, true life's purpose. It's disrespectful to you and yourself. So make sure that you um, are not allowing yourself to be stuck in positions that do not serve you. Um, and the food that you put in your body, you hear me always stressing this about the foods that you put in your body is serious. Don't disrespect your body by putting these trashy foods in your body, greasy foods. Let me get some likes, let me get some loves, let me know that y'all are awake this Saturday. Um, those greasy foods that you put in your body, all of the trash, the processed foods that we're putting in our bodies, man. Um, stop disrespecting your body. 
Think about it this way. Would you pour Coca-Cola into a plant, a growing plant? But we would turn around and give that same Coca-Cola to our children that are growing. You see what I'm saying? So stop giving your children this trash, disrespecting them, teaching them to disrespect themselves. So start respecting your body, putting the proper nutrition in your body. Uh, chia seeds are awesome. Kale is awesome. Apple is awesome. Uh, people say, how can I go on a plant-based diet? Where am I going to get my protein? Spirulina has so much protein in it. Try it. It's awesome. You can get away from these toxic meats. Um, and it, it's crazy because I had a cabbage steak the other day, and the cabbage steak, I, I thought to myself, was going to taste more like uh, veggies. And in my mind, it actually did taste like a steak. I like, grilled it and everything, flipped it, and uh, put a little honey over the top of it, glazed a little honey over the top of it just for a little flavor. And, man, it was awesome, you know, natural flavoring. So there's things that you can do, and, and it's, it's really all in the mind. Like, I was still fulfilled, you know, I was, I was still full, I had more energy, I had more life, because I wasn't eating the animal, you know, I didn't disrespect my body. The animal, you know, when you think about that pain that shoots through that animal's body, when the energy continues to go on, so this energy is trapped in the blood, and water holds information, so uh, these animals that are being uh, killed for your consumption, now, now I can get into this because people are starting to see what the health, and I can, I can speak freely about this, you're starting to get this, this pain into your uh, your bloodstream and you wonder why you're so down and you feel so sick all the time and people are, uh, uh, don't have any energy after eating all you want to do is go to sleep lay on the couch and watch TV you see that's that's a huge part of that um, also who you who are you exposing to who are you allowing to hear um, your plans allowing to hear your life's journeys who are you uh, giving that to that's don't be disrespectful to yourself by giving people that opportunity to view through the windows of your life and to critique those windows of your life that you already have mapped out. Don't disrespect yourself in that way. Let me get some likes, let me get some loves, man, if you're in the room. I know you might be mesmerized by the whole outside. I'm usually in the house with a brick wall and, and uh, just kind of pounding it away at y'all, man, but it's a peaceful Saturday. I usually don't even do lives on Saturday, but I decided I'm going to do one today because I'm going to start doing them early on Saturday. I feel like a lot of people need something for their day, man. Start respecting yourself. Um, you know, self-respecting people, they, they share their story, you know. It's therapeutic for your soul to, to, to share your story, share what you've gone through. It could help someone else. It's respectful to yourself to share your own story, you know. And that's what I do. I get on, I get on uh, these lives, and a lot of people, a lot of you don't realize it, but I'm sharing with you what I'm going through um, along my journey. I'm basically an open book right now. Everything that you see going on, these conversations that I'm having with you guys, is a result of what's going on in my life. Like, um, like I say, share your story, and that's kind of like what we promote in the clinic that I'm that I'm running now, called um, "Give It All Away," where you're able to build um, a business with residual income by simply giving it all away and changing your life, doing a full 180 and marching in a different direction and growing towards prosperity and progress. So that's what my new clinic is all about, and it's it's therapeutic for me also because. I'm able to learn more about myself while I learn more about people. So I'm respecting myself in the, in the highest sense by giving back, by sharing my story. Um, and don't, you know, don't get stuck in that job. Like I said, make sure you don't get stuck in that job. You, I mean, it's cool to get that job, but make sure real people, people who respect themselves do lifestyles. They don't do jobs. I'm, I do a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle because I love what I do. I got involved with um, childhood malnutrition and, and working in social entrepreneurship uh, to build um, income, some money, some revenue for me to be able to put towards, you know, investment towards uh, Carlot, actually, to be honest with you. That was the only reason why I got involved and found out that it brought so much more and opened so many more doors for me. Um, it allowed me to not be selfish, I'm more self, selfless. Uh, selfless attitude about things and it's, it's just it's just crazy you know and it's, it's simply because I'm respecting myself I know that this is a stepping stone and it's giving me everything it's giving me everything that I could possibly want from it so I'm gladly accepting it so remember to take 100% responsibility for the things that you for what you've been through where you are right now in life uh, know that people along your journey are going to be there they're going to distract you you just have to learn to focus on your purpose your life's purpose stay on your life's path um, Know that you are priceless. No job can put a price on you. No job can put a price on you. You are priceless. So with that known, then always go for more 
every time. There's never an end. Go for more. There's never a success. There's always a succeed with you. Uh, make sure the foods that you put in your body are respectful to your body. Like I was speaking about earlier, whole foods. That's why I'm in whole food nutrition because I feel that we need to respect our bodies. You know, so make sure you're doing all these things, man. Respect yourself and it will treat you. I'm telling you, your body will treat you in accordance. So do all those things. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay humble. Enjoy your Saturday, man. Reach out to me in my inbox if you have any topics, any ideas, or if you just have a question or would like to join our health group. Just reach out or put it in the comments. All right, peace.